Assalamu alaikum. Today we shall talk about time dependency of expectation values of quantum mechanical operators. We start by recalling the Schrodinger equation. In quantum mechanics, the system is described by the wave function. The wave function is usually written with the notation psi. Psi satisfies the Schrodinger equation. That is, by solving the Schrodinger equation, we can obtain the wave function. Here, h hat represents the Hamiltonian operator. For a particle of mass m moving in a potential v, the Hamiltonian operator has this form. Here, the first term in the right hand side represents the kinetic energy operator. We also recall the definition of Hermitian operator. An operator omega hat which corresponds to a physical observable omega is said to be Hermitian if, it, if the results of these two integrals are same. That is, if omega hat can be moved from the second function to the first function this way. Here in the left hand side omega hat is acting on the wave function psi and the result is multiplied with phi star. But on the right hand side omega hat is acting on phi and the complex conjugate of that result is multiplied with psi. The example of Hermitian operator would be position operator, momentum operator, kinetic energy operator, Hamiltonian operator, etc. In fact, all operators in quantum mechanics that corresponds to physical observable are Hermitian. We define the expectation value of omega hat as this. Here the expectation value is written with two angles on both sides. The physical meaning of this would be if we have many identical systems and we measure omega in all of them at the same time t, then the average value would be this expectation value. From the right hand side, we see that the expectation value omega may depend on time. So we like to study its time dependency. Therefore, we take time derivative on the both sides of this equation. And we have like this. Since both psi and psi star has time dependency and omega has omega hat does not have any explicit time dependency after derivation derivative we like we write like this. Now from the Schrodinger equation we know that i a cat d psi by dt is equals a hat psi. And if we take the complex conjugate of this equation, we have this one. Now, I like to replace this d psi by dt and d psi star by dt using the values of these two equations. So, I multiply i h cut on the both sides of this equation. Now, using these two equations, I get from this one like this. So in the second line, I just change the order of these two terms. Now if we look at this one, then we see here that the h hat is operating on psi and its complex conjugate is multiplied with a function. Because when an operator acts on a function, it is also a function. For example, if we have a function x square plus 2 and we take the derivative, that is 2x. So this is also a function. But if we multiply it with a number, it becomes, say for example 3, it becomes 3x square plus 6. That is also a function. So we see that a function, a complex conjugate of a function multiplied to another function. But we know that h hat is a Hermitian operator. And from the Hermitian operator, we know that we can move the operator from the first function 
to the second function this way. So by using this definition from this line, we have this one. Here in the first term, I just dropped the brackets. So after simplification, we have this one, but this is nothing but the commutator of omega hat and h hat. So we know the commutator of two operator is written like this and has this definition. So we have this one. Now if we look at this and if we recall the definition of the expectation value, this is nothing but the expectation value of this commutator. Therefore, we write this that is i h cat d by dt expectation value of omega as the expectation value of this commutator that is the commutator of h hat sorry commutator of omega hat and h hat now from here we see that if a, if, a, if an operator commutes with hamiltonian operator then it has no time dependency so now we have an equation where we can study the time dependency of an the time dependency of the expectation value of an operator in terms of the expectation value of the commutator of that operator with hamiltonian operator for an example we consider the momentum operator of a free particle since for a free particle the hamiltonian operator has only the kinetic energy term the p hat commutes with h hat it can be shown with few lines like this here i have used this property of commutator now since this commutator this commutator is zero we have this line that is we see that the expectation value of momentum in of a free particle does not depend on time that is the expectation value of the momentum momentum for a free particle do not change that's all for today thank you